Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome to OMSI 2 and welcome to something very special today. We're going to be looking at Bodenham version 5 from Dazza 1980. So this is kind of a, an upgraded to the original Bodenham. If any of you have obviously probably have driven it, it was a, uh, a left-hand drive map. Uh, but now it's been fully converted. So what Dazza has done in his spare time, he has now turned this into a truly UK map with fully right-hand drive, left path converted to a UK feel. All references of visible German assets have now virtually been removed. The main goal of this version was to focus purely on a conversion to UK. While this has taken a considerable amount of his time, he did find the time to include a very small number of new areas, nothing too major. So think of version 5 as an evolution, not a revolution of this map. Okay, as well as that, on all other previous versions of Bovenham, it was set in the fictional area of Yorkshire. This has now made a big change as he is a Londoner born and bred. He wanted to make a fictional London based map, and that's kind of what he's done with this. So it's now moved and it's set in a fictional location on the southeast border of London and Kent in an area just east of Orpington. This means the map includes both transport for London and regional routes operated by Stagecoach. Uh, hopefully, this means that everyone will have a chance to drive their favourite buses and liveries in this one map. Okay, so there's lots of new things with this map. Uh, loads of cool things that are going to be added and going to be seen. There's lots of routes, of course, they're all still here. Uh, we got the likes of the 402, the 408, the 421, 437, 448, 459, 495, the 604, 607, 609, 610, 611, 800, 852, 853, 854, B1 to B6. Okay, so lots of cool things. Uh, gone and been changed on this map like he said most of it should now be in that kind of UK feel which is something that we've always wanted with this map it was always a UK feel map just driving on the wrong side of the road um, it was a great introduction to that left hand driving for a lot of people that weren't always keen on it uh, but now being right hand this is absolutely perfect okay so there are some limitations with the map uh, and those are mainly the AI so he does recommend that collisions will be turned off but it's up to you, of course. There is a hail and ride sections of the roads on which there are no designated bus stops. Buses stop wherever requested. It is safe to do so. For example, try not to stop at junctions or next to parked cars. Always try and find space close enough. Pull into the curb. In Bodenham, these sections are indicated by the floating bus stop helpers at the beginning and the end of each hail and ride section. You should also initiate your own iBus announcements once the beginning of each hail and ride section. Also, passengers that wish to light the bus uh, will ring the bell as normal. It is then up to you to stop as soon as reasonable possible in a safe position. Also, be aware of any intent in passages keep a lookout for people just standing around on the curb and be prepared to stop to allow them to board also the route 800 is a special service which is purely funded by knock hill business park and is only available to the workers at the park which this route provides a vital direct express link to apsi station and only calls at these two points okay so might not be 100 percent correct on uh, the bus that i've <laughs> picked it i think i was supposed to pick the london i bus one my bad uh, i think we should be okay though right we can always hope we're going to be okay um okay one two three four there we go we're, we're in we're logged in i think we should be okay we should turn on the bus i haven't played oms in a few weeks i'm going to be very honest with you which always makes things more fun right okay um we're just gonna have a quick little look at the uh timetable that i haven't set up yet this is always a good one uh so we're going to be doing the line four three seven uh, we should be okay. We're here at Fobbington Green. It's only a short run. I'll try and do a couple of videos over the next few days so you can see a lot of the different routes. Uh, first off, Fobbington Green. That's fine. Yep. All good. Uh, Got to log in again, though. Here we go. Fobbington Green to Garston Manor. Short kind of 20-minute journey. So if you guys see anything along the way that you think could be improved or don't like or do like, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure Dazza will have a look at a lot of the comments and read if any of you guys have any you know suggestions or anything like that you see anything wrong with the map i'm not always the best at those things when you're kind of just focusing on the driving um and i haven't driven Bodenham in a little while actually as well probably doesn't help probably should have done uh, one of them first right so i'm assuming this is going to be our first bus stop Fobbington green stand 421 437 and for the 854 all right we're going to pull in here for a second because we are early on the time what is the time in game uh the time in game is 14 14 okay so we've got 15 minutes uh we're leaving here at half past right yep uh so let's uh just fast forward all this time should be good i'll be here anyways now hopefully we don't get too lost me and route directions are terrible i prefer when we have the omzi map but don't have that luxury on this at the moment um but yeah we are good to kind of get out of it and take a good look at the map
Yeah, that traffic is fast. Why are there so many cars? Okay, let's get the first few people on. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Hopefully this can be integrated to BCS pretty quickly. Hopefully they're not going to put a four week wait on us uh, so we can get it going. This would be great for CCS events with the amount of routes and stuff. But I'm very, very excited for this. Okay, first stop here, Vale Bridge. Now, the one thing that a lot of you might ask is the release date. Uh, I don't know when it's going to be released. I don't think it's miles away. So, obviously, keep an eye out. I'm pretty sure it'll go up on Fellows Film. Come on, Doris. But it is, uh, obviously, once we kind of get more into the towns and stuff, we'll get, a, hopefully, a good feel of all the uh, the assets that have changed. Okay, we are going left it. Because both of them always had a kind of UK feel to it. It just wasn't 100%, if you know what I mean. Having all the traffic and stuff changed does make a huge difference uh, visually. All aboard. Hello, mate. Like all the bus stop signage and stuff there, it's nice. What I'm probably gonna have to do is like record a video of the old Bodenham on the same route and try and maybe do like a side by side comparison. That might be pretty cool. Okay, we're the 437, so we're gonna continue going down.
a driver? It feels very UK-ish. My brother lives up towards like Bishop Stortford. It feels very, very similar to that. Like I said, just having the traffic makes a huge difference from the uh, the older versions. Hi. Good day, driver. Yeah, definitely uh, can't wait to get this on BCS. You know me, I don't really like driving on the single player. I'm more of a BCS driver if I drive. But what I will do over the next couple of days is I'll try and do a route a day. So you guys can check out different areas over the weekend. Try and share some screenshots in Discord maybe as well. So if you aren't in my Discord, link in the description down below. Probably should get some screenshots as we're going around. To remember what route I was doing then. God, I hope we're going the right way. 437. 437. Day driver. Twins. Doesn't seem to matter where we go in the world, we always seem to find them. So do any of you guys have any in particular routes that you'd like to see over the weekend? Let me know in the comments down below as well, and I'll do my best to accommodate the most popular ones. We'll be doing the 402 Hello. for sure. Hi. Just got to sort out my uh, Transport for London repaints. And I didn't have enough time this morning. 
uh, before I had to go out, so... Nice round it. Probably well, we should uh, turn off those route markers while I get a picture. Oop. Okay, I don't know why, but it uh, no longer wants to take uh, screenshots, which is uh, annoying. everybody on I must admit, one thing about Bodenham to me as well, you know, even though the age of the map, it was always one that aged quite well. But just having these kind of very few simple things. Something's wrong with the repaints though, look at them over there. You know, having the UK cars, more than street furniture, UK-esque. Paint am I missing for these? Some sort of stagecoach ones. Interesting, because I thought I downloaded everything.
There's me just getting stupidly confused. I always admire the amount of work people put into the three OMSI stuff. And uh, this is no exception. This is really good news. It's something that we've been wanting for such a long time was to get this converted. What? Okay, so we'll head off, we'll head down. Quick left and right. It's nice down here. I like this kind of going through the town feel. Yeah, I forgot to uh, turn my markers back on. All routes. Nope, nobody wanted to get on that.
No, Prime Day, anyone? It has uh, a great feel of uh, UK uh, trading estate. I, I must admit, I, overall, I think the map looks refreshed. It feels new. It doesn't feel like Bodenham. It is, but it, it doesn't feel like it, if you know what I mean. Okay, how many buses are allowed up here, apparently? Okay, looks like we've only got one stop left. So, what do you guys think in the comments down below? Let me know. Let me uh, let me know what you think. Uh, for me, it, it, it feels like a new map. It feels refreshed. It feels good. It feels modern. Um, like I said, just like those simple visuals of having like UK cars and stuff just makes such a difference. It really does make a huge difference to to any map, I suppose. Um, I think that was kind of the head puzzle, apart from driving on the wrong side of the road. The older versions, I think, obviously, the really dated vehicles, it, it didn't fit. I don't I, I don't like to feel like it fit too much. Um, but yeah, it's nice. It, it feels a bit like it's had a modernization. All the assets and stuff have been changed. It has a good feel. There we go. We made it. We made it and I didn't get lost. Now, the trickier ones will be the bus stations when we go into them, in and out. They'll be fun. Um, but yeah, I will post some screenshots in Discord down below. Uh, thank you for Dazza for allowing us access to be able to showcase this to you. I think he's done a, a great job here. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for you all to try it as well. If there are any routes that you'd like me to do, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. Over the next uh, three days, I'll make sure there's a new route each day for you guys to check out. And uh, yeah, other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.